So, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to Splash 2023 in Cascais. My name is Vasco Vasconcelos. Um, and uh, I'm going to tell you all some data about the whole the, the, the event, Splash. But first, I would like to tell you that the, the keynote for Onward will start at 9.30, yeah? So that uh, uh, Onward attendees can, uh, can be here for the uh, announcements and then, uh, um, and then attend the, the, the keynote for Onward. Yeah? So I'm going to tell you some da data about Splash, and then I'll hand the microphone to Mira Mezzini, the review committee chair, to tell you a little bit about Uppsala. Okay? So uh, this is uh, one of the largest... Uh, splash in the last few years. I was looking at data and in, in, in the last 12 years this is the second largest um, um, uh, conference in terms of participants, um, um, non-COVID conferences, so to speak. Okay? So uh, there's quite a lot of students here and uh, well, that's good. That's very good. That's very good for programming language. That's very good for software verification because there will be a tomorrow. Uh, but it also says that uh, in there, I mean, now you're worried about where the fees that you pay go, uh, how do you use them, and uh, a large proportion of that is to support students. Okay, we support students with. Uh, uh, student research competition, uh, programming language mentoring workshop, doctoral symposium, and the reduced fees for students, okay? So it's, I'm very happy that we have almost 40% of students uh, within us. Uh, so this is, uh, this is the second splash after uh, COVID, and uh, uh, we decided it will be mainly in person. We believe that uh, we have to meet uh, at, uh, at coffee breaks in, in front of a, uh, of a glass and uh, no, of a drink. And, um, so, but uh, nevertheless, we still allow uh, remote participation. Okay? So, but you will see that uh, remote participation is, uh, is uh, quite uh, small compared. It's less than 50 compared to the, the whole number. Uh, and um, and the, as for, the, as for the, 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 the workshops and conferences, we decided that the, remote, the, the PC chairs will decide what they want to do. Uh, some conferences do not allow uh, remote uh, um, presentations, uh, others would. Uh, also, so this is a conference in Europe. It's, uh, it's no surprise that the largest, the, ma the majority of the, the participants will come from, uh, from Europe, almost 60%, followed by uh, North America, that is US and Canada, and uh, and Asia, okay? And on the 3%, you'll find the Brazil and Chile, Algeria, Nigeria, uh, uh, Australia, and, uh, uh, and New Zealand. So this is a very large conference. Um, it's probably one of the largest in MF, uh, uh, in a large event. It's a, probably one of the largest in number of uh, conferences. We have eight, including uh, Uppsala, we have uh, eight conferences. So we have seven co-located conferences. We had PPDP and Lobster for the first time uh, with, uh, with, uh, with um, uh, Splash. Uh, we had an MPLR that uh, is with Splash again after a few years. And, uh, and then uh, uh, the, the others that uh, are usually with, with Splash. We also have 10 workshops and we have these uh, tracks that, are, that I've mentioned before, like the, 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 the Onward, the papers and the, the essays and uh, the programming language mentoring workshop, the, research, the res student research competition and all that that's, that's, that are usually with Splash. So this is a very large event. Uh, so, uh, so 720 days have passed since Mira first uh, asked me uh, whether I would like to do uh, Splash in Lisbon. And I said, why not? But uh, big mistake. <laughs> it's a wall, it's a huge endeavor, and, uh, and, uh, but in the end, I think, uh, I think it will, uh, uh, everything went, uh, is going okay, I think, and, uh, and I'm happy that you all are all here, and uh, we will have a, uh, enjoy this, uh, this conference, but, uh, uh, but, uh, but yeah, <laughs> so this is the num a number of messages in my mailbox a few days ago, and, uh, and also, in the last week uh, or so, we started using Discord among the members of the, the working uh, 
uh, um, the, 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 the organizing committee, and I, I lost the count of messages in the in the in the in, in this card. They 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 are produced uh, quicker than I can read them. But uh, the good thing is that uh, we count with an amazing organizing committee. Uh, I mean, uh, an event of this size cannot be. Uh, you know, uh, uh, organized without, without uh, uh, really the help of this uh, professional organizing committee. I'm, gonna, I know I'm not going to uh, name all of them because we'll see them in the, in, the, in the page. So if you go to the main page, the organizing committee, you will see there's 30 plus uh, members. And uh, so this, this 2K uh, message in my bio box, it's... Uh, it's, I, the number is lo that low only because all these people, they work by themselves. They are pretty much autonomous and they don't have to report everything to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't, you know, I, I think you would fill my, my quota at the university. Uh, so, and in general, for each of these, for each of these uh, roles, we have two, uh, two chairs. Uh, so that knowledge, and uh, usually, usually uh, these chairs stay for two years, and we have one junior and one senior, um, and then uh, so that the knowledge is passed. And uh, so these are great, uh, great members, and uh, uh, and all these people work uh, for free. They they donated a large time of their uh, of their uh, uh, a large part of their time to uh, pre to you know to organize this, this conference. So they really deserve an, an applause here. <laughs> and on top of that, we still had 50 uh, student volunteers that for which I don't have the, uh, um, uh, the, the uh, photographs. Uh, so uh, to complete my, my uh, introduction, introduction uh, we also uh, I would like to, to thank uh, all our sponsors uh, at uh, at different levels for uh, supporting the conference, including uh, Seekplan, which is the uh, the umbrella for for a series of conferences that you may know of, PLDI, ICFP, Splash, um, and the, and the, and the Popple, and uh, that's it. So enjoy the conference. I'll be around if you want to. Uh, and if you need anything, and uh, I'll now let uh, Mira uh, introduce uh, um, Upsla. <laughs> you wanna you wanna use this to change? To and this goes there. This is only if you need uh, to change your slide. Okay. Okay, good morning, everyone. Great to have you here. My name is Mira Mezzini. As Vashka already said, I'm, or, yeah, I'm still <laughs> um, the chair of the review committee for UPSLA. And Vashko, I hope you still will talk to me, <laughs> we'll still be friends, despite me being the reason for you to suffer, but be in short, I suffered as much as you. It started even earlier, um, because um, even compiling the review committee started much, much earlier than and 2022, already in 2021. Um, and the same as you, when I was asked, um, I have to say I didn't think too long. I mean, this is my home, this is my community, this is where I grew up as a scholar and eventually will retire. Uh, so it was a great honor for me to take over this role, but also um, a huge responsibility. And as you see, see, I present myself as associate editor of PAC and PL, which I am. This is the proceedings of the ACM on programming languages, and that's the journal where the Uppsala papers appear. 
And the journal has, unlike other journals, this specific um, feature that it has calls for papers, namely, um, currently we have two calls, and 2003 had a call in um, October 2022 uh, and uh, one in April 23, the second call. Um, some numbers in the first call, uh, we got 93 submissions, and out of those, um, including nine resubmissions, from the previous round, which is basically the second round of Uppsala 2022. And out of those, we accepted 31 articles, which are published in the first issue, Uppsala issue of PACM PL 2023. In the second round, we got 211 submissions, and including 14 that we passed from the first round to the second round, um, papers that were decided uh, to revise and resubmit, and we accepted 79 of those which have appeared already in the second issue of Upslide Pack and PL. Um, how does the reviewing process go um, once the papers are in? And uh, one number I heard that this year the numbers, the submission numbers are in the first round even higher, which is a good sign for the community. Um, now, the process itself, so we used um, an AI-based uh, assignment, initial assignment of the papers to reviewers, um, and then we asked the reviewers to do a very quick review in the sense of looking at the paper abstract in, uh, introduction and just um, a judge whether they feel comfortable enough, whether they are experts uh, in reviewing this paper, and the goal was also to identify cases where we need more additional expertise. Phase two is the normal phase, I mean, what standard phase, what you know, reviewers had to put a lot of effort in reviewing papers, there were three reviewers per paper, and at the end of this phase, we formulated uh, explicit questions also in addition to the comments in the reviews for the authors and received their uh, responses, which were discussed together with uh, each other reviews by the reviewers in a very intensive way. Um, I think this worked perfectly. Um, I'm very happy about the process, the outcome, how seriously the author responses were taken by the reviewers, by us as the committee uh, as a whole. And to give you some numbers, I mean, um, I looked at, or at, at the uh, comments, the amount of comments, and altogether, um, including reviews, responses, comments, we had 5,500 roughly uh, pages altogether, a huge book, and there were roughly 5,000 reviewer comments in the discussion among each other while also discussing the author responses. Sometimes this amount of uh, comments and discussions um, amounts to bigger paper than the paper itself, uh, which is a very good sign, I think, for, uh, for, for authors. I believe at the end, we were able to put together a very nice, diverse program, um, and we put a lot of effort in um, taking very seriously uh, the author comments. Some of the papers, kind of roughly 10%, um, got a Distinguished Paper Award, um, here, basically, the process were also very simple. We got the papers that had straight A's, plus a few that uh, had mostly A's, but let's say a B, but were nominated explicitly by reviewers, only two of them. Um, the papers, in no particular order, are accelerating fuzzing through prefix, prefix guided execution, grounded copilot, how programmers interact with code generation models. Languages with decidable learning, a meta theorem, live pattern matching with type holes, algebra geometric algorithms for template based synth synthesis of polynomial programs, then randomized test testing of Byzantine uh, fault tolerant algorithms, a mechanized concurrent separation logic for weak persistent memory initializing um, global objects, time and order, formal abstractions for 
packet scheduling, bring your own data structures to data log and solving string constraints with lengths by stabilization. All the papers you can find in the program have, have this sign of uh, having uh, won an award. Um, for now, I just would like to ask the authors of those papers that are in the room to just get up and get our applause for, uh, for their award. So at the end, all together, um, I think uh, we have a very nice program, and I would like at this point to say thank you to authors for sending their work to Uppsala, to submitting their papers to Uppsala. I would like to say thank you very much to all the review committee members. Uh, there are too many for me <laughs> to show the pictures on the slides. We will have to spend a lot of time going through those slides, but again, if uh, those of you that are in the room, please stand up and let us give you a huge applause because this is a huge amount of work that goes into reviews. <laughs> let me also thank the keynote speakers. We have uh, three keynote speakers. Um, um, a great uh, mixture of keynote speakers, uh, keynote talks, I think. Uh, Dimitrios Vitinotius, uh, Joe Hellerstein uh, will be here with us tomorrow, and Amal uh, Ahmed. Uh, again, thank you very much for accepting my invitation and being here with us. And last, but certainly not least, I would, I'm very thankful, very grateful to the associate editors, Derek, Sophia is here, Chris, uh, Shiram and, and Patrick Oyster. Um, they also didn't quite know what they were jumping in when they asked them uh, to join the team as associate uh, uh, chairs. And in turn, I also didn't know quite uh, exactly what, what uh, ended up being for me. It was a great experience with this great colleagues. They helped a lot in ensuring the quality of our reviewing process. And we had so many discussions. At some point, I think Shiram said to me, ha, you thought we would be, or, or Sophia, I think it was Shiram said to me, um, you thought you'd have less work by having us on board. Uh, I think it's more work that you got. To <laughs> but it was worth every minute of it, discussing with them and disputing with them, and they disputing among, among each other. And now, I would like to thank Ragna in, uh, at the end of the room. Sophia called him our hero today. He supported us in all the process managing this uh, complex uh, structure like hot CRP and uh, in all matters and issues. So we couldn't do our job without him the way we did it. So that's it for that part. Um, I, let me just say... You are a great community, and let us, all of us now enjoy the conference and cash cash. Thank you. Thank you.